All right, guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this video together because I threw up a video yesterday and kind of mentioned that Keller got a new truck and we might as well show it today. The very first thing we are doing is taking these covers off the taillights. Actually, he's gonna get a set of taillights from Nate that are LED, but we're gonna go ahead and take these things off because they're horrendous. But yeah, this is this is Keller's new truck. I don't know if I'm gonna make him go over it all with you guys, but it is one slick unit. Um, it's obviously a big headlight, so it is an 0659 uh, with 190,000 on 22 inch American Forces and 35 inch Gladiator X comps. It is leveled, but it does not sit very level because it's got a lot of stuff on it. I mean, the ranch hands are heavy. It has airbags in the rear. It has Bellistine 5100s all the way around. Uh, it's got a whole new rebuilt front end, all new AC system in it. Uh, the inside is also very nice. It is a vinyl floor truck, but he is going to use it for the obvious. He's a welder. But uh, it's got a nice head unit in it. It is a six speed, before you guys ask. It is a six speed. So, yeah, it's a very slick unit. Uh, the guy took really good care of it. We weren't real sure the condition it was going to be because all these trucks you see on Marketplace, they're all pretty rough. They all are used as work trucks, and this one is pristine. The paint is pretty amazing on it, and just how well it was taken care of is pretty impressive. It does have drilled and slotted rotors on it, which is kind of odd. I've, I haven't got to see that a lot on especially trucks like this, so that's kind of neat. It stops very well. Uh, I mean, it does everything it's supposed to, and... Yeah, it's fun. It is it is uh, smarty tuned, and it has a South Bend dual disc clutch in it. But per performance wise, that's pretty well it. It's a pretty clean slate to mess with. Uh, you can tell we're getting ready to get out the heat gun so we can. It's just 3M adhesive on there and like down each side. So really, all we gotta do is heat them up and pull them off, and then we'll take the glue off of those things. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I might make him talk about what the plans are with it. Uh, basically, right now, it's a daily driver. It needs to make it from point A to point B, and he's just, just going to drive it and enjoy it. I'm sure one of these days, we'll start messing with it and doing stuff to it, but right now, uh, it just needs to serve its purpose. As far as other stuff that it's got done, it's got a 4-inch exhaust to, I don't know what size tip that is. Maybe, I think it's a 7, because mine, it might be a 6 or a 7. I don't know. Mine's like a five and it's way bigger. Um, I'll hop on on the inside so you guys can see the tent. So you can tell it's set up pretty good. Just like we, just like we like them. It is 30% on the full shield with no brow and 5% uh, all the way around on the other windows. So yeah, I don't know what all we're gonna do with it. I do know it has a gooseneck hitch and it has airbags and it has a trailer brake controller. So it would make one hell of a tow rig. We'll probably hook it up to some stuff just to see what it'll do. I mean, with a nice clutch and everything, might as well, it runs very healthy. It does have a like brand new Smarty with it. So we haven't messed with that at all yet. It does, it runs pretty well for now. So yeah, it's kind of dirty because our gravel roads are awful right now we're in the heat of the summer so that's extremely dusty but it's part of it's not going to be i mean i don't know it gets used just like my truck does so it'll be dirty except whenever we're not out here or whenever we're in town i don't know if i can get a good the bags it doesn't have a the bags don't have any air in them from what i felt and uh it doesn't have a compressor like a built-in compressor but the little air air valves or whatever you want to call them are right here those two little deals right there so it's still pretty convenient he set it all up right but yeah definitely has some stuff done to it like bags and whatnot and I, I definitely like to do some of that stuff to mine so i'm gonna see how these things work and we'll make up a mind on that but we're gonna go ahead and pull these covers off on the ground where it belongs so Obviously, so like I said, I ended up being right. I was, I kind of looked at it the other night, but it is, it did have glue down this side and this side, and that was it. So we'll just get the glue off and then we'll move on to the other side. But it's not too much. I don't know why somebody would put those on there. They look awful. 
I don't know. It's just not a very nice touch. He's actually going to be getting some new tails from Nate anyway. But it'll be good to have an extra set around because my my back right one leaks. So you never know whenever these things are going to start leaking. All right, and just like that, uh, we took these ugly freaking things off and got the glue off. That literally took, I don't know, 15 minutes. But these are nice rear tails. I don't know why anybody would put those over it. But he did get the his job box put in the back of it last night. He said he had somebody come up to him at the gas station today and offer him to try and buy the stocks off of him. So, might get rid of those. I don't know. Those just came with the truck. Obviously, the forces look pretty pretty killer. But, yeah. We'll, we'll go over some more of it here later, probably. Boom. We are pretty quick. Uh, we got the stocks unloaded up at the lake. Moved his box back up there. Yoda. I don't think you... Hold on. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to go over the goals and plans for this thing. But you guys haven't seen the Yoda in a little bit. It has four runner stocks on it with some uh, Nitto ridge graps, which in the video, these things look like they're bald. They're actually like 50%. I don't know what the heck's going on there. Hi, Meat. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. But yeah, the Yoda hasn't been driven in a little bit. But it's doing good. That's for sale, by the way. All right, so goals for this thing. Let's Let's talk... Let's talk under the hood stuff for for this truck. So right now, as I said, as it's set up, I will go. I will give you guys a re-rundown. Smarty tunes, um, South Bend dual disc clutch. So we're good trans wise. We are good, and a four inch exhaust. That is it. Stock intake, rest of it stock. So kind of what we've been gathering. Which the chance the, the planes can change down the road. Obviously, things can snowball, and he might want to drop more money or drop less money. So I've kind of given them some options. Number one will be an air dog. We will be getting an air dog for this truck. We need one. Uh, preventative maintenance, uh, fuel, the cleanliness of the fuel. We want to protect that CP3 and those injectors. Uh, they're good to go right now, so we want to keep it that way. And yeah, it's just a good product. So a air dog and a sump will be in store for this thing. Then fresh after that, we will probably just go ahead and do a retune. So we will be ditching the Smarty Tunes and selling that. They are literally brand new. We'll be selling those, the little box thing. And we will, there's a bird in the shop. And we're going to have Firepunk tune it. Um, Dakota's been on me. He wants me to get Anarchy Tunes through him. But uh, I'm a Firepunk guy through and through. Uh, just seeing stuff proven on their dyno. Uh, they will fix tuning from other manufacturers and get more power out of it. Or they'll take fuel out of it, make it burn cleaner, make a better tow tune. That like, I don't know. They just work really hard to do their best. I don't know. I, I I just appreciate that a lot. So, it will be getting some firepunk tuning. That is actually pretty steep. It's for an EFI live setup. So we'll be doing EFI live through firepunk. So right now, air dog, firepunk tunes, and then after that, um, we're probably. Obviously, everybody loves second-gen swaps. We do. Keller does. We love second-gen swaps. They're awesome. And we love our whole set power. So we're, he's either going to go to do a nice second-gen swap setup, powder coat, you know, the whole nine yards. Or if he's not ready for that yet, I'm going to pull this turbo off. And it is just an HE351. I'm going to pull this turbo off. I'm going to rebuild it. Uh, contact Brad and Dunk and just kind of see if I can get a 60 millimeter compressor wheel, their new custom one. Uh, it's the the it's the 60 millimeter R, something like that. Uh, it's supposed to be able to do 700 with these trucks. So we'll probably get one of those and then a 67 millimeter turbine wheel and I will go through that charger and make it a 60, 67, nine HE351. It'll be a great towing turbo. It'll do everything he wants and we'll leave it in the stock location. Maybe get a little bit better uh, breathing on there, make a different intake for it. So the air side of things, we aren't sure yet on. So we're wanting to leave it stock fuel. The air, we, we kind of want to go a little wild, but then again, uh, that is a lot of money. So we could leave it in the stock location, get a nice uh, whole set on there, get it breathing good. And it would be very healthy. As It's already healthy right now, but that would make it a great tow rig. And as you guys, I mean, it's set up to do that. So... Yeah, as for power, uh, we'd like to be sitting around six to six twenty with, but with Firepunk tunes. Have you guys, if you guys haven't watched Firepunk's channel, tons of these 06 trucks have made around six six twenty on stock fuel, so stock injectors and stock uh, CP3, and I've seen them on stock lift pumps make that as well. So 
pretty impressive. So we should be we should be very easily six six twenty, not hot and smoky. Uh, should do that very very easily. So power wise, that's what we're thinking. Preventative ma maintenance also uh, AR or probably IFG, innovative fa fastener group head studs, and then some foul springs and push rods just to be safe. You know, you never know with RPM and all that. I don't know what kind of. I don't know. We probably don't need them quite yet, but we'd rather have them. We'd rather be safe than sorry. That's what I'm trying to get at. So that will be kind of the setup for this thing. And then we'll, I don't know, you know, the shiny stuff under the hood to make it look good. Everybody loves that. So as for power, 6 to 620 right now, that's all. I'm sure it'll snowball. I'm sure it'll be like, okay, now set of injectors, and we'll bump that up. And then a little bit. We'll bump that up about probably 50 horse before this CP3 runs out of life. And we need we need a bigger CP3, and that's where we're, where we're choking at. And then it'll jump new cp3 maybe be sitting around more than 700 so you never know uh and it has a g56 so i know once you start getting up past 700 you start pushing the limits of that bad boy and i I've, I've seen people do big pat like more power on g56 but uh they are i believe i you know i'm not a manual guy so don't get on me here but i believe they're an aluminum case so they're they're not as stout as an mp5600 i know that so yeah that's kind of our plans with this thing I say our plans. This is obviously Keller's truck. Um, he comes to me for guidance on stuff. Uh, we have the same taste. We we like to go fast. We like the noise of a second gen swap, obviously. But we do want to put good parts on this thing because it does need to be very reliable. It's a daily. A uh, little bit of a weekend warrior action. Just make it a little fun on the street. Uh, it's a manual, so it's not going to outrun anybody. It's a dually. It's not meant to be a race truck. Uh, and it, it needs to be a good tow pig, and that's kind of what we've discussed, and I think that's uh, a good plan so far. As you guys can see, it has ranch hands on it, uh, and they are very nice. They are pretty new. So I'm not sure what Kel is going to do on the ranch hand side of things. He kind of likes the look, kind of likes the farm truck look or the work truck look. But then again, we see a nice, clean Laramie bumper painted to match and a grill that's color. Ooh, ooh, you can't beat that. You just, you can't beat it. So... As for looks, obviously, maybe maybe ditch the ranch hands. Maybe go back to a stock rear bumper, Laramie bumper up front. with, And he doesn't have fog lights right now, so that would help him on that side of things too, on lighting. Um, right now, it's it's stock lighting up here. We've got these stock housings, uh, no LEDs, no fog lights. So uh, the anti-flicker or the anti-flicker headlight harnesses came in today, and the LED headlight bulbs will be in tomorrow or are supposed to be so we'll do a little install a uh, little led action in this thing because uh, it has 30 percent on the windshield as i mentioned and no led headlights so it's awful and one of the headlights went out so it's just an excuse for us to put leds in it for whatever 50 bucks you can have a nice set of leds uh, as you guys know we use aux beam that's all for the price you can't beat them and they do not go out we have never had a set of aux beams go out and I expect them to eventually. I mean, a bulb, a bulb's life does end at some point in time, but on all of our trucks, we've never had an aux beam go out, and it's been probably five years now. We've all had them, and no, no failures so far. So, yeah. Speaking of that, I need to order set aux beams for my truck because the op sevens are not cutting it. But yeah, I mean, we've we've got a little bit of an idea of how. He wants this truck set up, and he's got good taste. He knows exactly what he's doing. So, uh, As for tires and stuff, I don't know. I don't know if he's just going to wear these tires out and buy new ones or if he's going to pull these tires off and put some ATs or uh, nicer MTs on it. you got Gladiators look awesome. They're meaty. They're so meaty. But they ride, they ride exactly how they look. The front ones, they've had an alignment issue or something go on. I don't know what happened, but they're super... Uh, rough and uh, it seems like the toe was out at one point. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's possible with the solid axle. I don't know what I'm saying, but they are worn kind of funky. But they're they they still have a lot of tread. They got a ton of life left in them. So I don't know what his route is there. A, not a set of Toyo MTs would ride way way better than these. But that's six tires. That's a that's a lot. That's a big chunk of money in a in a 22. And I don't know if he'll stick with a 35 or not. Right now the 35s look awesome. We don't know how it'll look without the ranch hands, so we're kind of just playing it by what we think, obviously. We're probably going to debadge some of this as well. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are. Drop it in the comments what you think. Uh, I have the trim on my truck because it's the Laramie trim. I think it looks good with my setup. But this black trim, we're thinking about pulling the black trim off. We don't know what's under there, so we're going to be cautious on that. 
Uh, we're not sure about the Ram 3500. It doesn't look bad. It's not those blocky style like the newer uh, 6.7s. And um, the back, we know the tailgate. We're going to debadge stuff. Honestly, we want a different tailgate for it because this. I'm pretty sure there's holes under there. It just looks bad. It's a very nice tailgate, but we want that gone. We would rather... We would, we would rather that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that. So, yeah, we're still figuring stuff out. But he's got a he's got a good taste and a good head on his shoulders about what he wants to do with this thing. And I think he's literally washed this thing every freaking day he's had it. So, I don't blame him. I really don't. The sun's kind of really out today. But I just wanted to introduce a new truck to the channel. Uh, and it is in the family. This thing will be around, literally. Anytime we're working on this thing or anything on the shop, this will probably be in the background. Like, it's it's going to be here. Uh, this, this is going to be a good truck for you guys because it relates to a, a bunch of people. I'm not a manual guy, but now we have a manual that it's going to be the same use as everybody else, and it's, it's got to do the job, and it's got to be reliable. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Drop a like if you guys are pumped about this. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if you guys are wondering what the wheels are, they are American Force Independences. Most of you guys can tell they're forces, but uh, the style is Independences. So if you guys are liking it and you think you need a set, you you now you know what wheel it is. They're one of the oldest you can get. They've been around forever. They're a classic. So yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna get out of here. So subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know if you guys are excited about this thing. Uh, hit the like button. I'm pretty pumped. So. Now we have two white 5.9s, 05 and an 06. This one will have EFI Live. This one's got HP tuners. Uh, pretty pumped about the whole the whole setup and just where, where this thing can go. So until next time, we'll see you guys. We'll be right back here on the Old School Crew for another one. Yeah, peace out.